Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be going over the key tracking uh, tabs here. So we have uh, key tracking for our oscillator and key tracking for our filter. So what is key tracking? Uh, basically, uh, the, what key you have pressed, can't press them, but what key you have pressed uh, dictates um, a lot of things. Uh, well, by default, it dictates uh, what pitch the oscillators play at. So a linear um, uh key key tracking for os for our oscillator controls the pitch so right what we can do is if we basically just turn key tracking off no matter what key we press it's a you know a standard key right if we turn that on uh, and you know linear instead of user it's a, a uniformed key tracking right so that's pretty cool uh, why would you want to do whatever so say if you have uh, something that's really additive flinders the heck is that so I want that up that's a terrible example okay we want that I want that uh, playing above this but I want it at, you know, as an as a upper harmonic, I don't want any key tracking going on. So what I'll do is I'll go oscillator 2 and I'll just turn the key tracking off. And it'll always play at that, so I'll just adjust the pitch. So it'll be mixed in with this. Right? That makes any sense. So this is just static as, you know, a... A, uh, an oscillator to build upper harmonics or harmonics in general and I can wrap that into a filter into filter 2 just by itself to even to refine it even more but then our oscillator 1 is still it's still you know key tracked pitch wise like it's supposed to be so we mix them together I might want to do that We get a cool effect, and uh, that's by turning off the key tracking. So this oscillator is just a stupid oscillator. It only knows how to play one thing, and uh, that is uh, basic keyboard pitch tracking. Um, we can uh, drag and drop it, but we'll get into macro control later. I'm going to go into new sound and explain key tracking for our filter. So we have this guy. We'll let that go into filter one, and I'll have low pass. So with key tracking off um, as we play the filter does not open as we go up because the 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 spectrum changes it goes up as we go up in pitch so even more is uh, cut off so I'll just go up in increments of octaves right it disappears once we get up there but if we turn on you know our uh, key tracking for a filter the filter opens up the more we go up in our kind of octave, or the more we go up in key, in our pitch. So I'll play this. Turn it off. Right, and so we can uh, we can adjust that curve. So say if I want, if I want all this just to be down and dirty, but then. You know, if I wanted to have that, you know, really high up or, you know, something, who knows. The sound uh, begs for that. So if I, if I had this like this, you know, and then I've got that stuff going on for us and I just wanted to split this. Right? This is really low. You get some really neat kind of filter effects. It's just uh, another way. It's kind of like modulating the cutoff of the filter by what key you're pressing and how high it is up. That's a little too much, so we'll draw that in. 
Right. And you can, if, if you're getting, if you have something that's heavily distorted via the filter, you can bring the filter down a notch for like certain areas of the keyboard if you do so want to. It just adds a, a, a lot of flexibility. So if you want to key tracking for your first filter and then key tracking off for your second one, uh, you can get, you know, say, yeah, so say if you want to keep tracking off for your first one and you have like screen distortion and you have a lot right and you want to keep that kind of tone and you don't want the filter to open yeah but then you want your filter too so we'll set this in serial set the output to filter one and then we'll go uh, double knot. Maybe we get some really weird kind of scaling. And like weird kind of filter effects it off with it on so you, you kind of get the idea and that is uh key tracking for oscillator and key tracking for filter and yes i do i do know my lefts and my rights i just get confused all right uh take care we'll be back <laughs>